Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News, and Ian Summerhalder is opening up about the rumors surrounding a potential ninth season of The Vampire Diaries. We may still be deep in the age of reboots and reunions, but when it comes to the fan favorite CW drama series, The Vampire Diaries, Ian Summerhalder seems to believe that some endings are better left unharmed. Ian, who starred as Mystic Falls resident bad boy vampire Damon Salvatore for all eight seasons of the show, recently caught up with Andy Cohen on Sirius XM's Radio Andy when the possibility of a ninth season was brought up for discussion. Andy addressed the rumors head on, asking Ian, quote, there are rumors circling online that it could come back for a ninth season, but that the decision is up to you and Nina Dobrev. Any truth to that? Ian was quick to put an end to those rumors saying, I have not heard anything about a season nine and even explained to Andy what would happen if they continued on with the story. Oh, and if for some reason you haven't finished the series, there are some major spoilers ahead, so proceed at your own risk. Damon has like gray hair and <laughs> they're, you know, they have canes like, oh, I gotta feed the baby. <laughs> Although he still has a lot of love for the series, Ian went on to say, quote, listen, it ran a great course and now it's still living. That's what's so amazing. It's still living. Fans of the show recall the end of the series when Damon, Elena, and Stefan are no longer vampires as Stefan even moves on to the afterlife and Elena reunites with her late family members. It was one of the few endings to a series that was very well received and given the fact that most of these characters are no longer immortal beings, I'm afraid this story won't be given the green light to continue on, but for good reason. Ian's interview comes just days after fans realized that the cult classic show had been restored back on Netflix and by the looks of it, it seems many are completely happy re-watching the entire series for the second, third, and even fourth time. One user tweeted, feel like all my problems have gone since The Vampire Diaries is back on Netflix. I feel human, which is a little ironic considering Mystic Falls' extensive population of immortals. Another fan wrote, now that The Vampire Diaries is back on Netflix, I can proceed with my favorite coping mechanism, which is watching The Vampire Diaries on repeat. And to add to Ian's sentiment, fans old and new still to this day have the same first time feeling when watching it back, like this person who said, I really believe that it doesn't matter how many times I watch The Vampire Diaries, I will always cry watching it. Both Ian and his on-screen brother, Paul Wesley, have also remained close since the series ended back in 2017, as they embarked on a new business venture which is very fitting to the boozy lifestyle of their brotherly characters. The two created a line of bourbon whiskey, conveniently called Brothers Bond, to carry on the Salvatore spirit in true vampire fashion. On that note, if you don't hear from me in the next few weeks, it's likely because I've set my Do Not Disturb in honor of the Vampire Diaries making its way back to Netflix, and I'm sure y'all understand, right? But to find out why some fans are outraged over the 2021 Golden Globe nominations, click right over here for another Clever News video, and then let us know what you think about what Ian had to say about Vampire Diaries down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.